All right, guys, this is 50 Cal Sniper. Um, working on my nin Ninja again today. It's a 2012 Ninja 650. Um, today we're putting a new clutch in her. Um, old clutch is pretty worn out, and uh, that presents a problem. Um, where to start? You, you have to pull all your fairings off, which you can see that I have done on both sides, because I'm actually doing fork seals as well as my clutch. There may be a video on the fork seals. There's probably not going to be. Um, for the clutch, you pull all your fairings off. You need to disconnect your clutch line from your clutch lever, or your whatever that thing is, clutch lever on the clutch side. And there's, there's actually uh, two bolt posts right here. There's two 8 millimeter bolts that go in there. It's easiest if you take them out. Pull this guy up and then uh, disconnect it from here. There's a slot in the back of this that the cable slides out of. Uh, the next step is to uh, take all these 8 millimeter bolts out. Remember where they came from, just in case there's any difference in length. Um, uh, we'll continue after I have that cover removed. All right, with the aid of my uh, handy dandy impact gun. I have taken all my bolts out and pulled my cover off. Um, I forgot to order a gasket, so this isn't going to go back together today because I'm an idiot. Forgot to order a gasket. Um, and the next step would be to pull these five bolts out. Everything I've read in the manual and online said that you need to pull them out in a cross pattern, just like you would a tire in a car. Um, don't play with that. Don't play with that. Leave them alone. And um, yeah, I guess we'll commence this after pull cover off. One thing I forgot to mention behind these, uh, these are all 10 millimeter bolts. Um, behind them are your clutch springs. Don't lose your clutch springs and try and remember where you got them from. Uh, I just like to lay it out on the floor in the same pattern I pull it out in, but I'm actually replacing my clutch springs. If you're not, then uh, if you're just putting the stock clutch back in, then um, keep them and put them back where you got them. All right. All right, we're going to see if I can do this. I guess I also forgot to mention you need to drain your oil out of your bike. Um, otherwise, this will be full of oil and you won't. You'll be a very unhappy person. All right, you need to remember how this came out so you can put it back exactly how it came out. Um, try not to take any of your plates out. Try just to grab this front plate. Um, and cause yourself a lot of headaches. I'm going to see if I can do it with one hand. Okay, and if you notice, I've got it just how it came off. Turn it like that, and I'm going to set it right there. I know exactly how it goes back. Um, these plates, you want to put the new plates in exactly how you take these old plates out. You don't want to um, turn them in any way, and you want to put them back in the same order. So I've got a fiber plate. What I like to do is I like to take my fiber plate and I'll set it right here just like that so fiber came out and you can tell this clutch got real hot you know it's burned all the way around so you take a fiber out and I can't do it with my fingers And a steel and like I said I'm not turning it I'm just setting it right next to my fiber and then a fiber the next fiber and then the next steel Oops, 
drop. And then the next fiber and the next steel. And you do that until um, they're all out of there. And then you put your new ones in or your existing ones, depending on what you're up to. If you're just doing an inspection and you put them back in the same way they came out one after the other. Um, if you put new ones in, make sure you let your new ones soak in new oil for uh, ugh, for a few hours. Usually overnight works best. Mine have been soaking for uh, a day or two. Um, I'm actually in a spare office at work, so I can't just work on my bike whenever I feel like it. Um, but mine have been soaking for a few days. And um, I'll put them in, and then uh, then we'll, I'll, I'll I'll get these out of there, and I'll show you how to put them in. Then we'll get there. All right. So I've got mine out, and they're all hanging right there. And uh, I'd use a few dental picks to uh, get the back ones out because they were you can't obviously get your finger in there to grab them. Um, dental picks I found work the best. They actually do make a tool. For doing it you could also pull your clutch basket off I have a tool for that around here somewhere but I'm not gonna pull my clutch basket out because I don't really feel like it um, so I'll show you to do the first few putting them back in um, as you can see they're over here in this nice Lucas um, oil that I've got they're uh, pretty nice plates really like them uh, they're EBC uh, S something SDK or S something but it's the their their street race clutch it's actually the only clutch that well they make for the 2012 Ninja 650. Um, so we're going to put one of them back in. Then over here I have my steel plates. New steel plates. Put a steel plate in. And from everything I could read in the manual about for this clutch, on um, the instructions that came with this clutch, there's not a there's not a front and back they're the same and it's um, yeah so it's pretty much put them back in how they came out but you can you can definitely see that my my old plates compared to my new plates are uh, pretty beat up. I mean, they were they were pretty thrashed. Um, I actually taught both my little brothers to ride on my bike, and that's probably part of the problem. Um, you know, learning to clutch and stuff for some people isn't as easy as it is for others. You know, some of us comes naturally, and others. Takes them a while. Um, but it's it's pretty um, self explanatory. Just keep varying them. Obviously, I put a fiber in, then a steel, then a fiber, and then a steel, and then I'll just keep going out until I'm done. And at that point, I will. Uh, show you um, how to put it back together all right guys we're getting to the end um, one thing I did forget to mention this last plate that goes in is one tooth off of the rest of them if you're putting a new clutch in it's actually you'll need to know that if you're putting a, your original clutch back in if you deem that you don't need to replace it um, and I'll show you what that means let me get there come here 
It's a good little plate. Come here. And there you go. Like I said, this last plate is a little bit off from the rest of them. This one goes in. Whoopsie, dropped it. So you can see they're all lined up in a row. This last one goes off center to the rest of them and locks in there. And then you're done. Um, I'm actually going to pull mine back out and um, put it back in oil because I forgot my gasket. Um, I might RTV it. I highly doubt I will because um, you never know if you ever have to get in here again. RTV is a pain in the butt to remove um, and most of the time it leaks. Um, after this step you'll put your, your cover back on exactly as it came off. You'll put your springs and your bolts back in if you have new springs. Um, I'll show you real quick. This one is my factory spring that came in the bike. So, and then these, whoopsie, come here, are my uh, EBC um, springs. Um, just from holding them, they're a little high, they're a little taller than the factory springs, and they're a lot stiffer. These factory springs are really easy to pull in. These aftermarket springs are really hard. So they may not be for you if you do put the EBC clutch in. Um, you might just want to put the factory springs back in if you like a lighter clutch. I'm a really big guy, I have really big hands, and I, I really like to be able to feel my clutch and see where it is. I really like a hard clutch. So I'm going to put my, my aftermarket springs in. Um, now that, that might be uh, different for you. You might want them back to factory, and I don't blame you. Um, it's it's more of a personal preference. Um, then I'm gonna try and do some more of these videos uh, in the future. Um, if there's anything you request, let me know, and I can uh, see if I can fulfill that for you. Um, there there have been requests for the fork seals. Um, I might. Um, show how I did them. I might not. It's it's really going to de depend on how long it takes me to do it again and how much time I have because uh, it's uh, very cold here in Utah and you know I don't, I don't like being in this unheated warehouse space. Um, after you put your new clutch in as you drained all your oil, please do an oil change. Put a new filter in. I personally like the K&N um, it's the KN303 that fits the 2012 Ninja. The reason I like it is there's a, there's a bolt up here on the front. So you just put a wrench on it, take it off. It's also got a hole through it for safety wire. If you plan on going to the track, you need safety wire your, uh, well, your everything. But safety wire your fuel filter to your exhaust. Um, I really don't have uh, anything else to talk about. Um, I do need to say that I'm not sponsored by any of the products I used. I mean, I don't have anything from EBC. I don't have anything from K&N. I don't have anything from Lucas. Um, I don't, I don't do sponsorships. I'm really doing this more for an in, uh, 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 informational standpoint than I am a, uh, a paid standpoint. Um, you guys all have a great night and, uh, have a great winter.